Seeing this bundle in the morning is probably one of the worst things to experience. But don't worry, I'm here today to give you a solution and briefly talk about why this happens. Alright guys, welcome to a video on how to unclog your Bamboo P1S. So, if you ran into this kind of problem, we know it's a clog. But where is the clog? I made a diagram that closely resembles the whole extruder in the Bamboo P1S so that we can understand it with visual assistance. Here's the two main areas that can cause clogs. All right, so first up is the gears. The gears serve as a primary function to push the filament through the heated nozzle. If you had the wrong settings, like for example, higher printing speeds but lower temperatures, the filament can deform from the pressure of the gears and eventually form a clog. So I know in my current situation that this isn't a gear clog because the filament was able to pull back to the AMS successfully. This rules out my suspicion of it being a gear clog. If it was a gear clog, the AMS wouldn't be able to pull out the filament and you'll see that it will be stuck there. You would manually have to detach the PTFE tube and cut the filament. But in this case, I didn't have to do that. So this fact alone tells me that it's a clog elsewhere. If you're interested in a video about a gear clog, I actually have a YouTube shorts video that I'll link in the descriptions below. Check it out if that's your problem. All right, and then we have the hot end slash nozzle clog. So nozzle clogs can happen when you print with multi-materials or abrasive materials. Let's say you oftentimes use PETG and PLA in the same devices. Typically, these two filament doesn't mix well, so it can leave behind residue inside the nozzle and could lead to clogs. Or if you're like me and you print with filament that has glitter, glitter particles can get stuck inside the nozzle and interrupt the flow of filament and potentially causes print failures like what I had. Here's another clue that confirms my suspicion of it being a nozzle clog. So taking a look at the failed print, we find that there's a small droplet of filament. This occurs when a clog is formed inside the nozzle and the remaining filament that came before the clog slowly leaked out to form this droplet. All right guys, so now that we know what type of clog that we're dealing with, let's get to fixing. First off, we're gonna need a small needle, and then second, we're gonna need some cleaning filament. Luckily, I have a lot of cleaning filament because the company that I ordered my filament from uh, gives me some free ones. Shout out to Zero. So, let's get to fixing. First, you will need to home your printer. After it's done homing, you want to move the Z-axis downwards for more working space. Alright, and now we remove the tool head. I like to keep the tool head connected and I usually put it in between the belts right here. Push down on this latch to remove the PTFE tube. Then you want to heat up the nozzle to 250C. While we wait for it to heat up, prepare the filament cleaner. Now, insert the filament cleaner into the extruder and manually control the E-axis to feed the filament in. So I like to hold onto the cleaner while I press the button just to make sure it's not misguided. Okay, so now is the important part. Notice how the filament is coming out without curling. This is a good sign. If you don't see any filament coming out or it's curling, you will need to use a needle to unclog the nozzle. You would carefully insert it in from the bottom of the nozzle. Imagine you are clearing a blockage. You would repeat that process until you get a nice flow. So I didn't need to do that in this case, but if you're having trouble, please leave a comment. After you've achieved a nice flow, you can stop extruding and change the temperature to 100 C in order to prepare for a cold pole. The cold pole essentially allows the cleaning filament to cool down and solidify just enough so that it can collect the remaining debris in the chamber. Then we could pull the chunk out. So at 100 C, I like to slightly tug on the filament and simultaneously press the up button to take the filament out. Don't pull on it too hard, just tug on it lightly. 
and after it's out you can reconnect the PTFE tube and remember to put back the front cover alright so at this point you could try to restart your prints double check your print settings and also optimize your filament and that should be it if you found this video helpful at all please support my channel by giving me a thumbs up and a subscribe thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later